With all that heat and the humidity and the sun and everything, it can wreak, ha wreak havoc on your skin during the summer months, right? Mm -hmm. I know I'm talking to the choir here. What may work <laughs> is skincare routine in the winter. You know, it needs some change up as the temps rise and we spend more time outside. And our next guest has spent some time in the beauty and wellness industry, and she's here to share some advice. Uh, please welcome founder of Harlem Zen, Angela McTair. Good morning to you. Good morning, Craig. Good morning, Kirsten. Thanks for having me. Well, and, and congrats on your new Harlem Zen location. Where, where is your new place and what sort of services do you do? Thank you. So we're near the corner of 135th and Frederick Douglass in Harlem, and we offer corrective skincare services and full body laser hair removal. So let's talk about what we need to be doing in order to keep our skin summer ready, summer fresh, and surviving all of this, the, the onslaught of the elements that we get in the summertime. You're big on microfiber cloths. Like, I know I use that to clean my house, but why my face? <laughs> well, it's awesome because it has lots of little fibers that actually polish your skin to perfection. So I really love these actually in lieu of a Clarisonic brush, or something that is, could be a little bit more aggressive on your skin. And the reward is at the end when you see the big spot in the middle of all the dirt, oil, sebum that you've polished off of your skin. So these are a game changer. It's an eco-friendly way to cleanse your skin deeply and exfoliate it in one step. I love the fact that it's not throw away. It's something that you wash and reuse. And it's also, we see these like microplastic beads in a lot of skin polishing, and that ends up in the ocean, you know, hurting our environment. Exactly. So this is a wonderful solution that's great for your skin Good and stuff. great for the earth. Good. All right. So next is about incorporating deeply penetrating or leave-on skin care. I mean, is this <laughs> going to suffocate the skin in the summertime? Craig it seems it. like it's going to make us sweat a little more. <laughs> no, 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 not at all, Craig. Actually, we're talking about having things that will actually go into your skin instead of sit on the surface. So whereas we have a lot of moisturizers and creams that are a little bit heavier and waxier that may be more appropriate for our cooler weather, whenever we're working with this summer sun, it's great to have your lightweight serums. Incorporate those into your regimen. It's also a great way to keep your skin in good repair as you get the extra damage that we get from the sun and all of the rigors that come with sweating and running around in the heat. And so we know that all skin care is not created equally. And you say it's especially <laughs> important for people of color to know that irritation can equal hyperpigmentation. What does all of that mean and how do we avoid it? <laughs> Absolutely. So thank you for that. That's a, that's a really good question. What we want to make sure is that whenever we're caring for our skin, we're not irritating it. So a lot of times people think being a little bit more aggressive, I'm getting it done, I'm really getting in there. Um, we really want to make sure that we're calming the skin, we're soothing it, we're protecting it versus going after it and um, doing more aggressive acts that are going to just turn into hyperpigmentation. So say there is something you don't want, a hair or something on your skin, you continue to tweeze it, you continue to work on it and aggravate it, then you end up with a dark spot and that could be even worse than the initial challenge that you were trying to deal with. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, you know, during the summer months, we have to be more vigilant about wearing sunscreen. But you and other experts say it's actually a year-round thing. And wearing sunscreen is important for all skin tones. So does that mean even if the weather is rainy or cloudy, we should be wearing sunscreen? And what should we be looking for in a sunscreen? Absolutely. Well, that's a really great um, summer tip there. Everyone's talking about SPF, and we're talking about SPF all year round, absolutely. Um, in the sun protection, you really want it to be um, lightweight on your skin, especially in the summertime, but the consistency is the most important part. Whether rain or shine, we are still experiencing the rays of the sun, so it's really important that we just put that on consistently, prefer preferably 30 minutes before you leave out. Uh, it's a great time frame. To put it on your skin, whether you're using um, a heavier sunblock or a sunscreen that's more chemical based, 
you still want to apply it to your skin and have time for it to settle in a little bit. Okay, so I have a personal question here. I use, I've got multi-layer skincare and I use serums, which are meant to be sort of like, you know, turn the cells over. So I've got the serum, yes. I've got the moisturizer, I've got the eye cream, and I've got the sunblock. Which order am I supposed to be doing all of this in to make the <laughs> most sense of it? That's actually um, really great for people to learn that. So I'm glad you brought it up. Um, the rule of thumb is basically you want to go from lightest to heaviest. Um, I always, even if you have a lightweight sun protection, you do want to put your sun protection last. So um, after you cleanse and tone, your serums would be next. So you would want to allow them to penetrate for a little bit, and then you could follow with your moisturizer and SPF. And the eye cream, you can work that in there probably at the same time that you're using your moisturizer. They're probably very similar viscosities. All right. Well, Angela, we have plenty of questions, but we are out of time. Thank you so much for joining us. And uh, we remind everyone the New York location of Harlem Zen now open at 2520 Fred Frederick Douglass Boulevard near 134th Street. Thanks for being with us. Decoding all of the questions. Thank you, Angela. <laughs> Thank you so much. It was a pleasure. All right.